An electromagnetic four potential is a relativistic vector function from which the electromagnetic field can be derived. It combines both an electric scalar potential and a magnetic vector potential into a single four vector, as measured in a given frame of reference, and for a given gauge. The first component of the electromagnetic four potential is the electric scalar potential and the other three components make up the magnetic vector potential. While both the scalar and vector potential depend upon the frame, the electromagnetic four potential is Lorentz covariant. Like other potentials, many different electromagnetic four potentials correspond to the same electromagnetic field, depending upon the choice of gauge. In this article, index notation and the Minkowski metric will be used. See also Ricci calculus, covariance and contravariance of vectors and raising and lowering indices for more details on notation. Formulae are given in SI units and Gaussian CGS units. Definition. The electromagnetic four potential can be defined as in which is the electric potential, and A is the magnetic potential. The units of A alpha are Vsm minus 1 in SI, and Mxcm minus 1 in Gaussian CGS. The electric and magnetic fields associated with these four potentials are, in special relativity, the electric and magnetic fields must be written in the form of a tensor so they transform correctly under Lorentz transformations achieved by the electromagnetic tensor. This is written in terms of the electromagnetic four potential as this essentially defines the four potential in terms of physically observable quantities, as well as reducing to the above definition. In the Lorentz gauge, often, the Lorentz gauge condition in an inertial frame of reference is employed to simplify Maxwell's equations is where J alpha are the components of the four current and is the dal ambition operator. In terms of the scalar and vector potentials, this last equation becomes for a given charge and current distribution, rho and j, the solutions to these equations in SI units are, where is the retarded time? This is sometimes also expressed with where the square brackets are meant to indicate that the time should be evaluated at the retarded time. Of course, since the above equations are simply the solution to an inhomogeneous differential equation, any solution to the homogeneous equation can be added to these to satisfy the boundary conditions. These homogeneous solutions in general represent waves propagating from sources outside the boundary. When the integrals above are evaluated for typical cases, e.g., of an oscillating current, they are found to give both a magnetic field component varying according to R-2 and a component decreasing as R-1.